Hallihallo und herzlich willkommen zur zweiten Folge von Let's Play The Stanley Poeble. Ich weiß nicht wieso, aber wir sind wieder... Was could it mean? Das ist eine gute... decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah! Sei still! Gut, äh, wir sind schon wieder hier, was ein bisschen ärgerlich ist, weil, äh, das ist schön, aber ich will das eigentlich erst später zeigen, daher gehen wir jetzt mal geradeaus weiter. Es ist im Endeffekt immer noch dasselbe, also keine Sorge. Als Stanley kam zu einem Set von zwei offenen Türen, hat er die Tür auf seine Seite gelegt. So. Welche Tür nehme ich jetzt? Ich denke mal, ich nehme die linke. Ich habe da nämlich was Lustiges zu zeigen. Was richtig, richtig geil ist. So, wir gehen hier also weiter. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <lacht> Ach schön. So, und zwar gehen wir jetzt hier rein. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nein. Ich find's hier schön, ich möchte hier bleiben, bitte. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Ich weiß, aber ich will hier bleiben. Ich meine, guck mal. Die haben It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Ich stehe gar nicht, ich laufe die ganze Zeit. Außerdem guck mal, hier ist ein Besen. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Ich finde die Wand schön. Reicht das nicht? Ich finde die Wand schön. Realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I yeah. never would have thought to mention it. Ja, ja. Mir egal, guck dir die Wand an. Und da oben geht ein Rohr raus. Das Maybe das you, ist This is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend or say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." I hope your friends find this concerning. Tja. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he was. That all with drug money. Also, Stan was addicted to drugs and hookers. Was? Oh Gott, das habe ich ganz vergessen, dass der das sagt. Come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. <laughs> okay. Broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Das stimmt, ich bin bereits gestorben. Like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, <laughs> making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, <laughs> so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Ja, der sagt jetzt nicht mehr mehr. <lacht> Stan, Stanley ist dumm und fett und keiner mag ihn. <lacht> Stimmt, deswegen liebe ich dieses Ende so, weil er das sagt. So, 
Gut, er sagt jetzt nichts mehr. Daher gehen wir ah, wieder raus. Second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee, you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Danke. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. <laughs> I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <lacht> ah, ich liebe dieses, äh, dieses Ende hier. So, dich machen wir mal wieder zu. Und weil ich nicht weiß, was unten ist, gehen wir jetzt die Treppe runter. Into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nö. Was haben wir denn hier? Da ist gar nichts. Also ich habe nochmal geguckt im Internet übrigens, es ist nicht möglich, das äh, Explosionsende abzuwenden. Da können wir auch nichts drehen. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Tatsache! Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Huh? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. What's the hell? dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream! Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Hey! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It ah. was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Ja. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Ah. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. 
I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Happy End The end is never the end is never the end is loading. Gut. Wieder eins der Endings gesehen. Ich will jetzt noch ein weiteres sehen. Mal schauen. Oder beziehungsweise ein kleines Gimmick, das es geben soll. Ah, was ist das? Oh mein Gott. Ah, 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 ah. Heilige Scheiße, ey. Ich habe gerade einfach Face Punch eingegeben. Und wie wir sehen, sind irgendwie jetzt alle Texturen anders. Oh, was ist das? Geh mal aus, bitte. Du bist das. Hallo, das ist eine recorded message, scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you and have a pleasant day. Okay, vielen Dank. Keiner da. Passiert manchmal. Wo haben wir denn sonst noch Computer? Die sind alle aus. Okay. <lacht> Krass. Auf einmal sieht man was hier. Wohin geht's da? Oh. Das machen wir aber jetzt nicht. <lacht> das könnt ihr vergessen. Solange die Texturen so komisch sind, machen wir das nicht. Wieso gehen die Türen nicht zu? Hä? Was habe ich getan? Oh mein Gott! Nein! Okay, aufmachen kann ich es aber nicht mehr. What? Äh, gut. Gehen wir mal weiter. Die kann ich wieder... Oh, das ist ja ganz komisch hier. Den machen wir auch mal aus. Hö, Hilfe. Was steht da? Input received. Okay. Das ist auch was, was wir machen können. Ganz heimlich. Psst. 
Und zwar äh, gibt es ein Ending und dafür müssen wir vier Inputs drücken. Und zwar bei jedem Run einen. Den ersten haben wir jetzt gedrückt. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Da kommen wir nicht rein. Da vielleicht? Nö, leider nicht. Gut, äh, welches Ending mache ich denn jetzt? Ich muss immer so ein bisschen gucken, ähm, welches mir am meisten Spaß machen würde. Äh, warte. Ah ja, ich finde die Textur nicht so geil, deswegen beenden wir es jetzt schnell. Nee, heute möchte ich mir diese Lounge nicht anschauen. Sorry. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So, hier waren wir schon mal, jetzt gehen wir mal hier hin. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <lacht> Dankeschön. Wo sind wir hier? Wir schauen uns das nachher nochmal an. Eins der Enden ist relativ einfach. Wir können da jetzt drauf. Das ist das Sinn dahinter, hier drauf zu gehen. Wir können aber auch... <lacht> Geronimo! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <lacht> so, jetzt haben wir wieder die normalen Texturen. Äh, wollte ich nur mal kurz zeigen, wie gesagt, wenn man Face Punch eingibt, dann ja. So. Good. Awaiting input. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Gut, wir suchen jetzt den nächsten Input und der müsste hier irgendwo sein. Ah, da. Zack, Input received, ja. Ähm. Um, Ihr seht schon hier, Awaiting Input, Input Receive. Der andere ist jetzt dafür aus. Der da war das, glaube ich. Ähm, die kann man so alle durchgehen. Das nächste Ending. Was machen wir als nächstes? Ich würde sagen, wir machen jetzt etwas, was mir nicht so gefallen hat als Ending. Ähm, okay, mache ich. Jo, mein Freund. Gut, ähm, das nächste Ending, das wir jetzt machen, ist eins, wie gesagt. Ja, ich weiß das. Oh. Oh, also beim letzten Mal warst du aber lustiger. <lacht> Stanley ist dumm, fett und keiner mag ihn. <lacht> okay. Ja, er, er sagt tatsächlich an einigen Stellen was anderes, wenn man nochmal hingeht. Dieses Broom Closet wird auf jeden Fall ziemlich lustig noch. So, ich mach's mal wieder auf. Und wieder zu. Und wieder auf. Und wieder zu. Und wieder auf und geh mal durch. Sagt er nochmal was, wenn ich nochmal reingehe? Nope, er kommentiert es gar nicht mehr. Scheinbar mag er mich nicht mehr so. Äh, was machen wir jetzt? Ich würde mal sagen... Ah, ich zeige euch noch was. Genau, genau, ich weiß, was ich mache. Genau, wir gehen hier weiter. Yep. Schauen wir mal, zufällig ist das schon. Nein, ist noch nicht. Okay. Na, willst du dich wohl bewegen, Stanley? Oh, kann man gar nicht rein. Das ist ja schade. Dann gehen wir mal, äh, warte, hier. Okay, hier gehen wir auch nicht rein. Das ist ja traurig. Dann gehen wir jetzt mal hier rein. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, 
unraveled, Stanley wondered in dis Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Brewing the New Age music. <laughs> Auch ein schönes Gimmick, das wir da eingebaut haben. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Ah, ich fühle mich so ruhig. Kann man hier eigentlich wieder raus? Nee, ne? Ja, die Türen sind alle zu. Schade, schade, schade. Gut, das ist schön. Jetzt gehen wir, jetzt schauen wir noch schnell das nächste Ende an. Piep. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Richtig. Wir... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Also das letzte Mal, als ich hier war, hatte ich äh, ist was ganz schlimmes passiert, deswegen ich fliehe. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Aber da hinten hast du mich umgebracht, ganz böse. Ich gehe hier weiter. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Okay, dann gehe ich halt wieder zurück. Aber nur weil ich wissen will, ob du noch was sagst, wenn ich jetzt hier erstmal zurückgehe und dann wieder vor und dann wieder zurück. Alter, der Weg ist länger, als ich ihn in Erinnerung hatte. Hm, komisch. So. Wow. Sieht aber auf jeden Fall aber auch nicht schön aus, aber bestimmt verarscht uns der Moderator eh nur wieder. Ähm... Alles andere ergibt keinen Sinn. Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Aber da jagst du mich in die Luft, das will ich nicht. Nope, still on board with death. <lacht> Na, der sagt ja nichts mehr, okay. Ja, dann gehen wir wieder. Sorry. Ich glaube dir nicht, dass du mich umbringen wirst. Also, wenn, dann bringst du mich um. Wir, haben, wir wissen ja alle bereits, die Mitarbeiter wurden von diesem Moderator getötet. Ähm, entsprechend, der bringt uns eh um. Was will man tun? Ich meine, wir könnten auch frei werden, aber das ist ja langweilig. Das mag ja keiner. 